Hello, beautiful people. I am so excited because I want to share with you today a change that's going to help you with repurposing your content from video over to your podcast, especially if you're using Anchor. Well, my name is Eileen Smith, and I appreciate you for joining me today. Okay, so I haven't talked about Anchor in a while on this channel, but I do have a playlist that is filled to the brim with the tutorials about using Anchor. So if you're using Anchor or if you're thinking about using Anchor, I have people coming over there thanking me all the time over on YouTube because they were thinking about using Anchor, but they just weren't sure if they should go for it or not. And so they were so grateful that they were able to find my channel and some of my tutorials. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to get back into this conversation about Anchor because they made several updates, but one that I'm really, really pleased about because it brings back a feature that they used to have that they got rid of. So let me just uh, turn off dark mode <laughs> on my screen share because I don't think it looks as good when I pop out. And hello, my friend Reggie is here. Hey, Reggie Digital, thank you so much for joining. Okay, so now let me get this all shared out. Uh, I'm gonna put something in the chat for you. I'll put something out on Twitter through the power of the Elgato Stream Deck. And before we get started, one more thing, a little bit of housekeeping. I want to remind you about the upcoming online boot camp called Leap Into Live. There are going to be 40 presenters encouraging you on doing live streaming. And the reason why this ties in so perfectly with what we're going to be talking about today is Anchor now wants to encourage us and they're committed to making it easy, 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 easy for us to podcast, okay? And as you, some of you know, Anchor was acquired by Spotify. So if you've heard any of those rumors out there that say, oh, they don't have a business model, don't worry. They got a business model, okay? Because Spotify is one of the biggest streaming audio platforms in the world, all right? So you're safe and secure using anchor for your podcast. So now this feature used to be years ago that you could just drag a YouTube video and it would convert it for us into an audio. And now what you can do is from the desktop, as a matter of fact, let me uh, do a little screen share here because I'm going to show you the announcement that anchor made in a blog post. Turn your video chats into a podcast. Now let me get myself a little bit more centered here. I feel like I'm off to the, <laughs> to the right. And it, this is a blog post. You know, they have their blog over on Medium. And turn your virtual hangouts into a podcast with Anchor's new video to audio conversion. Now, I know a lot of you use your mobile device for your Anchor podcast, but this feature is only on desktop. Only on desktop for now, all right? So you have to, you have to go over to your account on desktop. And I know some of you guys are really mobile only, I'm not sure if you try to just go into the Chrome browser, if this will work. I haven't played around with that, doing it on your phone, but I do feel that it's going to work. I actually haven't tried it on desktop yet because I wanted to share that moment with you. Okay, so I've got, what I want to show you today is how to download files, all right, from your various places where you can live stream 
And in addition to that, I want to share, stick with me because throughout this broadcast, I'm also going to be sharing some additional updates that Anchor has made. All right. And so don't forget, um, you know, while you're here, you can go ahead and sign up for that leap into live. And that's at Eileen.link slash link leap into live, which I just post posted that as a comment here. And so let me get my little scrolling banner going. Oh, by the power vested in me and Ecamm Live, let's get this all started. All right. So let's go back to this blog post because Anchor, you know, I love them, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I feel like they're not quite in touch with the everyday ins and outs of live streaming and, and all that. And here's why I say that, because let's go back to the screen share and notice that they give these examples and it's a cute little video. It's only a 20 second video. And they give these examples of places where you can upload your videos from. And the first one they have on there is Google meet. Now raise your hand. I want you to raise your hand really high. If you use Google meet, cause I know I don't, and I'm a live streamer. Some people even call me a live stream queen, but anyway, anchor thinks you're going to use Google meet and, and I have access to it. Cause I do have G suite and all that. Hey, 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 Paul Peck is here. I see my girl, Pam is here. Uh, let's put some of these comments up on there. Uh, Reggie saying hi. Uh, Paul Peck drywall tube is here and lottery of life and also Pam natural aromatherapy. Let me go back to her comment and get it up there. Pam Gomez. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. And uh 24 K media productions. Hey, 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 Hey. All right. So I'm glad you guys are all talking amongst yourselves. I used to tell you guys, and here's my, my buddy Fraser from Ramsey unleashed. I used to tell you guys click on those little dots. Well, those little dots, uh, you can't click on them anymore to connect with other, uh, YouTubers. I don't know why YouTube changed that, but somehow I, I get this feeling this. Somebody was um, abusing that some somewhere down the line. All right, let me move myself up. So here's other examples that they use. Your Zooms. Now, a lot of people do use Zooms and they, 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 they do record them. So they're using Zoom for interviews. So that's a good one. I'm not going to show you how to download Zooms because personally, I don't use Zoom for to record things. Instagram Live, that one I will show you. Skype, once again, not a fan of Skype. FaceTime, I could imagine. Twitch, oh, they got fancy on me. They added Twitch to the list. And even though I know that Twitch is probably not your preferred platform to uh, live stream from, I'm going to show you that one first, just because it's one of my favorites. So here I am logged into the back end of my Twitch. And some of you may not know that you can do this. You want to go to the hamburger menu up on the top left, and then you're going to go to content video producer. All right. Then this was my last video here. In fact, this was a lovely chat that I had with my friend Fraser Ramsey, who's here and my other friend, Pat from dorm sky Rider. And you click on these three dots. There's the three dots again. And you see one of the options right there is download. All right. I'm not going to download that one because that one was over an hour. All right. So here's one that I did with just myself. I'll download it. All right. And you know, with Twitch, it does take a while for them to encode it and all that and get it ready for you to upload it. So just be patient with Twitch, depending upon how long your stream was. And, and that's how you do it. All right. So let's move on to another example. Let me come on full screen first though, and say hi to a few more people. 
and uh, never heard of Google Meet. Well, if you have G Suite, you still have Hangouts. And uh, apparently Hangouts is the same as Google Meet. But like I said, Reg, I don't even know why they put that one on there. Because it's not like people are going to go rush out and go like, oh, Google Meet, I can use that? No. <laughs> First of all, it ain't free. <laughs> and you know, folks that are on Anchor, they like free stuff. All right. Zoom versus StreamYard. Suppose the number you can have on screen is greater. Is that a question or a statement, Fraser? And I'm glad you mentioned StreamYard because that's the next one I'll show. Since Fraser mentioned... oh. Let me, I'm sorry. Let me go back over here because it started downloading. Oh, you can't see it. All right. It's a different window now. Let's see if uh, I can figure out how to show you. So it started downloading the file on your, on my computer and I'll just put it on my desktop here. And it looks like this super chat came in from Michael Daniels. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Why didn't my alert go off? I'm not a hundred percent sure. Woohoo, where's my Streamlabs? There it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, $30. Woo, woo. Oh, mama gonna get her a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michael. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to how you're going to download your file from StreamYard. Now, StreamYard... This one is really important, guys, because with StreamYard, and I'm saying this for the benefit of the folks that don't know, because I know most of you all who are here on the live stream, you guys know, but I'm going to share with you all the different places that you can live stream to with StreamYard. And hence, you would be able to download that video after the fact. First, I'll show you all the places. Then I'll show you how to download the video. Hey, 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 Larry Snow. So let me put Michael Super Chat up there first. Finally got to catch Miss Eileen live. Yes, Michael, you shamed me into doing a, a live stream at what you call a decent hour. <laughs> even though, even for me, Five o'clock in the morning is a decent hour, but that's beside the point. It's a relative statement. And there's Larry Snow. Okay. So let's go over to here. Let me get off of picture in picture. And these are all the places. Uh, let's make this screen share a little bit better, guys. There you go. All the places that you can live stream with StreamYard. All right. In case you didn't know this, guys, I do have another video here that shows all the benefits of using StreamYard. But your Facebook pages, your groups, your profiles, Twitch, LinkedIn page, profiles. You can use an app called Restream to go to a whole bunch of other obscure live streaming platforms, then your YouTube, then uh, custom RTMP, which is just an alternate way for you to connect to other live streaming platforms, and then Periscope, which is the same thing as going live on Twitter. Okay, so once you've done that, and I'm going to go into my past broadcast, you do need the paid plan for this. You would just go in here and then you would just download your recording. Now, actually, StreamYard already gives you the option to download as the audio, but let's just say you wanted to download the video, then you wouldn't have to go back and download the audio because now Anchor is going to convert that for you. And before I show you any more platforms, I think this is a good time for me to actually show you how you're going to do this over on Anchor. What do you think? Can I get a whoop whoop? Uh, yeah, it's time. I don't know why my lighting changed so much. Probably because the earth turned, not the sun. Looks like the sun is moving, but yeah, it's the earth. 
you know, y'all know we spinning. <laughs> All right, so let's go over back over to Anchor. <clears throat> so I had uh, done a quick little video before I went live today, and I'm going to now. Let's let's just see just how quickly this uploads. All right. Oh, uh, I guess I have to put stuff in here, don't I? <laughs> I'll just put whatever the auto pre-fills in. And that's just going to be a test. And that's just going to be that. And then I'm going to save it as a draft. Because i got to add some content. Uh-oh. It's been so, oh, yeah, here's the add audio button. Gee, it's been so long since I've been here. All right, so now we're going to click. You can upload or drag files here. So I'm going to click to upload. And my files are in my Ecamm folder, which I'll show you guys that in a minute. And it says extracting audio from video. And wow was that quick and it's actually 16 minute no this is the time i'm sorry it, that file wasn't even that long it's maybe a three minute segment or something like that so and it tells you that it's the audio only so wow hello and welcome to the anchor show today you probably can't hear that but that's okay and then if i just wanted to download that audio file and take it into say my hindenburg or some other software i could do that as well this is really super dark <laughs> that's okay y'all know what i look like okay so uh we need to give Eileen a huge thank you for all she does for many. Blessings to us all. Oh, Fraser, that is such a nice comment. And Birdie Lynn is there with the hearts. What's up, Lauren? Thank you, my dear. Okay. Even though we don't have access to the three dots anymore where we can go right to somebody's YouTube channel, I want y'all to go above and beyond and go ahead and make sure y'all follow one another. And I'm just going to put one more reminder out here since some folks just got here. Don't forget to go ahead and register for the online conference sponsored by the folks or it's hosted by the folks at ecamm live it's called leap into live you're going to go to eileen.link slash leap into live and now we got a sticker from michael daniels <laughs> thank you michael <laughs> oh let's show you what the sticker looks like okay two dollars pair of character doing a shake a sing <laughs> with his hand saying cool <laughs> shaker sign i'm sorry <laughs> all right and then it just says super chat it doesn't say super sticker but that's okay <laughs> oh thank you thank you michael all right so now let's go to ecamm live because i showed you how to download those those replays of those videos of those live streams from all those different platforms that you can go to with StreamYard. And now, before I even show you the Ecamm Live, I want to show you something else that you can do now with your Anchor account. So I told y'all I was going to mix in some little surprises, some, some things that have been going on with Anchor that I haven't had a chance to tell you guys about. So let's do that now. And then, because I, I got my list over here with Ecamm, so I, I'm not going to forget that. All right, I want you to go over to your settings. And yeah, leave that page. And I want y'all to scroll down. And I want you to go to the advanced. This is in your settings of your Anchor account. All right. <laughs> that's not the section the first thing I want you to take notice of is that you can add your email address in here 
So this is really important because people will try to contact you. And if they see that anchor is the email address on your podcast, then they won't, you won't be able to hear from them. So you can go in here and edit this now to your email address. And I thought there was another setting over here, but it's not here unless they moved it again. All right. Here's also where people can leave you voice messages on anchor. You can toggle that on or off. I leave mine on and hope, and I did get a voice message recently that I have not had a chance to add to the podcast. So I'm going to come back on screen to see where that other feature is. See if I can find it or if they moved it. Oh, it's, it's under distribution. Let me go down here and make sure. Okay. So uh, let me tell you about this before I show you. One of the big complaints that a lot of podcasters had about Anchor was the fact that you don't get access to your Apple podcast stats. And you don't. You really don't. If you let Anchor submit your show to Apple Podcasts, you won't get access to your Apple Podcast stats. And the reason why the Apple Podcast stats are so cool is because they're almost like a little slither of what we see on YouTube. You get to see where people start listening. You get to see where they drop off. Just like we do on YouTube, we can see where people drop off on our retention of our videos. You don't just see these basic stats that you would see on Anchor that you had 50 listens, you had 25 listens, you had 250 listens. No, you see where people are leaving. You're seeing if people are even rewinding a certain part of your show. And you're seeing where they drop off. So this helps you develop your content because you know, you've got this snazzy intro, man. You love your intro. You think your intro is the bomb diggy. And then you go into your Apple podcast stats and come to find out not a single solitary soul is listening. As soon as they get on your podcast, they fast forward, pass all that intro and pass how you talked about how you got corns on your toes, and how, how you miss going to the hairdresser and all that stuff. Nobody wants to hear that banter. They want you to get to the content. But you don't know that until you can see these stats from Apple Podcasts. Okay? Now, Spotify is trying to up their game with something similar. But from my experience, the Apple Podcast stats were better. So, what Anchor did... They had so many people that were putting in this request because you could, if you were super savvy, if you had the ninja tips, you know, you could actually contact Anchor and have them reverse that action from Apple. You have to send them Anchor an email and then you send Apple Podcasts an email. And believe me, it was a long convoluted journey because I actually went on that journey. <laughs> oh, I didn't say hi to Adam's life. Hello. And Doug Houston, YT. Hey, hey, hey. And not the corn on your toes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So I went through this long journey. I had to send Anchor an email. Then I had to send Apple an email. Apple gave me a code, a string of characters. Then I had to send that string of characters back to anchor anchor had to go in and log in add that string of characters and it's called claiming your content claiming your content it's back and forth and back and forth and i will say that each of the parties apple Podcasts and anchor at the time when i did this which was back in january or early february before all this other stuff went down. Hello, Flora. Long time no see, my dear. I love your new profile pic. I have to say, they uh, both parties acted expeditiously. As soon as I sent something to Anchor, 
they responded right away. As soon as I send something to Apple podcast, they responded right away. Like overnight, like, you know, y'all know I go to bed early. I will wake up in the morning. And my response would be there. Anchor got tired of that, obviously, or they just finally got around to making a change and they did not announce this one publicly. So you're getting a deal here. So you go to the page for your distribution. This is where you have all the places that your podcast can be heard. And at the bottom, now they have the place where you could put that code. I'm going to make it bigger because I want y'all to see this. If you'd like to claim your podcast in Apple Podcast Connect, email podcast support at apple.com for more information on accessing Apple Podcast Analytics. Follow our step by step guide. But they're going to give you that code when you email Apple Podcast. You're going to put that code in here. And then you will have your podcast after Apple. Apple verifies it so you can now claim your content and you'll get access to your podcast support, uh, your podcast connect account. Now for anybody who's new, who has not started their podcast yet, you are thinking about podcasting on anchor, just don't let them submit it for you. I know it sounds all like gravy, like we're going to put your podcast here and there and there. Yeah, but then you don't get the access to the stats because Apple recognizes Anchor as being the owner. They don't own your content. Don't get me wrong. Just the owner of access to the Podcast Connect. And Anchor ain't got time to be logging into your Podcast Connect for you, right? So it only made sense for them to give us an easier way to do this. And like I said, they just did this not too long ago because I did the whole back and forth, back and forth email. This eliminates at least three or four of the back and forth email steps. Okay. So let's go back to places where you can download your, uh, content. And you know what? I'm not, I'm going to save Ecamm live for last because I know most of you guys are not using Ecamm live, but one of the tricky places where you may, um, an anchor even mentioned Instagram live, you know, you've done an Instagram live and now you want to turn that into your podcast, right? Well, when you finish your Instagram live, let's see if I can get back to that blog post of anchors. Bear with me guys. Cause I know I have it here. When you finish your Instagram live on your phone, there is a little down arrow at the very top left-hand side for you to download that file onto your phone. So now you've got the, the video on your phone. Well, how do you still, how do you get it now? Remember, you only can do this thing on desktop. The only way you can upload that video to be converted by anchor into the audio for your podcast is on desktop. So you still got to get it over there, right? So in fact, really quickly, let's go back to that blog post because this is one thing that they said right in the blog post, or I shouldn't say they said it right. This was the most useful thing of the examples that they gave here. And that was Instagram live. So it takes you over to Instagram. And Instagram just basically says what I just told you. And I don't know why their font is so teeny teensy weensy. After you've ended a live video on Instagram, you can tap. And that's a little down arrow at the top left to save your video, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So now how do you get it over to your computer? I've got two ways I do that. One is the Apple way. It's something called AirDrop because I have a Mac and an iPhone, I simply tap on that video and tap airdrop and then I airdrop it to my Mac. However, whether you have a Mac or a PC, 
The other way that you can do this is, in my opinion, the easier way is have your your camera roll syncing up to your Google Photos. And then from Google Photos on your desktop, you download that video that way. Now, let's see. I'm pretty sure I've got some videos over there I can download. Let's show you really quickly how to get over to Google Photos. Now, because I have an iPhone, I have to sync all of my photos and my Apple photos, I guess you could call it, with my Google Photos. So when you're on any blank tab in Chrome, you click on that big fat menu there, and then you look for photos, and, you know, they'll be synced. And, in fact, I think this, uh, this one here was an Instagram Live that I did the other day. I was unboxing the new smartphone that for my uncle. And let's just scrub through a little. Nope. Oh, oh, there you go. So up at the top of the page, at the top right, is my download link. And I can just download this file right onto, I'm actually putting it on my desktop. Let's see. All right. <clears throat> so there you have it. There's another way that you can download your live streams for repurposing into your Anchor podcast. Okay. So here's the other tricky one that everybody loves to use and that's Facebook live. Okay. So let's go over into Facebook and I actually have a dedicated video for this here. And so if anybody just wants to know how to download their videos from Facebook, here's a dedicated video. I'll put a YouTube card here, but I also want to show you because you know, Facebook changes their interface all the time. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> so let me first, let me go over to my Facebook page. All right. So here's another, another tip that Facebook has just introduced. If you have a Facebook page, you want to go to where your live videos are because you want to now take them all and repurpose them into an anchor podcast. You can start a new podcast because remember, Anchor's free, right? You can start a podcast tonight. So you just go to facebook.com slash the name of your page. In my case, it's Miss Eileen Speaks. And then you just type in live. And if you're not currently live, it's just going to go to a page with all of your past live streams. OMG, another super chat or was that a <laughs> oh you're a subscriber hey tech junk <laughs> thank you thank you for subscribing okay so here you go now you can find all of your live streams in one place your facebook lives so let's just click on one all right hello and then once you're on this watch page well, here we go again with the three dots you click the three dots and then that's where you download the video. Now, sometimes when you're watching a Facebook video, you don't end up on this page if it's a live stream. Uh, let's just say, for example, you end up on Facebook watch. That could happen. And I'm going to go to my own videos here. And no matter what, the goal Change is the color. for you, you can just to use the get back onto this page. Okay. And sometimes it takes a minute for you to figure out how to get back over here. But this is the goal. You need to get to this big watch, pay, watch page or video watch page. I don't mean Facebook watch. I mean the video watch page that's in this larger format here so that you have these three dots here. And then you download the video. Okay. So that's from your uh, page. Let's go over to your profile here. All right. A lot of times your videos, when you're on your profile, 
Uh, this is all from desktop. I showed y'all how to do it from your phone. Same thing you would do for Instagram. You would do for Facebook or yeah, Facebook, N nothing else, <laughs> just Facebook. And then from here, you would go to videos. Now, if you do a lot of stream, a lot of uh, videos and things on your profile, you're going to have to sort through to find the ones that were live streams. But you know, once again, looking for the hello dots. how are you today okay. <laughs> oh my god so once you get those three dots that's how you download a facebook live group same thing if you go live in your facebook group same exact thing tech junk hey miss the blab days i know <laughs> But we have so many other places to hang out now. Okay. So, all right, let's, let's move on. Let's see. Did you guys, does anybody have any questions? Are any of you actually doing this already? You're repurposing your live streams into a podcast. This really is just saving a step for those of us who were already doing it. But for me, this is why I'm showing you all these multiple ways that you can download these videos, because for me, that was the harder part. The harder part is I know a lot of folks, they go live, but they don't know where to download the video. And so that's why uploading it from the desktop. I've got a whole, uh, tutorial here on how to use the anchor platform from desktop. So you saw me do that as well here today. So I would love to know if anybody is using their live streams as a podcast. Oh, I know my Fraser, my friend Fraser Ramsey. I know he's doing that. In fact, he went live in our group. We have a group, a few of us hang out in, and he went live today recording his podcast. And so I already know that he's going to be doing it. And, uh, but he's not using anchor, not using anchor for that particular podcast. I just like that anchor continually comes up with ways to make your podcasting easier, you know, and what I just showed you about going into that Apple podcast connect that just blows out of the water. Uh, another complaint that all of the, uh, the paid podcasting hosts had about anchor. Well, you don't have control of your, your RSS feed. Yes, you do now. Yes, you do. I showed you how easy it is. You send Apple Podcasts that email. They give you that code. You put that code there, and then they verify that the code is there. And they say, oh, here you go. Log in. And all you need is an iTunes or an Apple account. You have to have that account already. Or, you know, you can establish one. And you just use that same email address as your podcast email, as you use for your Apple podcast or iTunes account. And that's how you get to your podcast connect. All right. Let's see. Y'all got a little quiet on me here. So I'm going to have to put something else in the chat there. I'll put that. And of course, Another friendly reminder about uh, the Leap Into Live. We're going to have a live or virtual boot camp hosted by Ecamm Live and Stephanie Liu from Lights Camera Live. And it starts this uh, Wednesday, so it's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. My session is Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern. And I'm going to be talking about mastering YouTube and tips and tricks on using YouTube. I'm going live on YouTube. So I would love, love, love if you would use my link to sign up, but it's absolutely free. Okay, so now let's see if I can get into my preferences here on Ecamm. 
and see if uh, I can remember where that <laughs> well, I might as well let you guys watch me fumble around with this <laughs> because in order to download your lot, your past live streams, when you're using Ecamm live, it's actually very easy, but it's a one-time setting. And that one-time setting is, you know, download videos to my hard drive. And, you know, because believe it or not, there's some people who don't have that much space on their hard drive. And so they don't want the videos downloaded to their hard drive. Okay. But you're going to be able to get the high quality video when you do it this way. And I want to find that setting before I start screen sharing, but I don't think that's going to work. I think we're going to have to go through it and see if I can find where it is. Once you do, nope, I don't know where it is. <laughs> Once you download that, I'm just going to show you my preferences anyway, even though I haven't found the one I wanted to show. Uh, Ecamm Live preferences. You get to see what the preferences are like in Ecamm Live. All right, so I, here's the general preferences. And it's talking about playing app sounds. And uh, that's like a little noise that would play when a comment comes in. And although I love you guys' comments, that noise throws me off sometimes. And you have all these little things you can do. Animated reactions and uh, control while in other apps and things like that. And then... The stream is high quality video and the stream size. So I have a 16 by nine and right now I'm streaming at 1080p, but you can stream all the way up to 4k. And it must not be in the preferences. Okay. Automatically mute. microphone X cancel. Oh. Yeah, I'm not finding where that setting is. Oh, this is just for Facebook, Periscope, and YouTube. So, it must be somewhere in one of my menus. Oh, now the earth has finally turned to a spot where the lighting is just the way I want it to be. <laughs> Thank you, earth. Thank you, mother earth. Uh, okay, let's see. All right, so show recordings. Choose for, all right, here we go. It's under, you're not going to be able to see it. Yes, you are, because one of the cool things about Ecamm Live is that they have something called live demo mode where I can show you everything. So I'm just going to try to tidy up my desktop a little bit here before I show you live demo mode. All right, and I have the chat popped out on the side in case you're wondering what that is. So let's go into live demo mode. All right. So now you guys can see my whole screen. So up at the top, I'm in the menu under recordings. And all I had to do here was check that off. Record all broadcasts. All right. And then here's show recordings. Choose recordings folder. So I can designate, uh, you know, I might just create a folder that's um, YouTube lives or live streams, but Ecamm will automatically create a folder that's called Ecamm Live Recordings. Okay, so that's where all of your recordings go. When you use Ecamm Live, you can have them so that they always, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to extra download it of anything. When your broadcast is ended, that file will be there in your recordings folder immediately. Because when you click finish, you'll get a little menu. Of course, I can't show you this because that, because then I would be ending the stream and you, I would see it, but you wouldn't see it because the stream would be over. <laughs> but there's a little, um, I'll post a screenshot up on my Twitter. That says show file. 
as soon as I hit finish, it'll say show file. And I can click that little button and it'll take me right to that folder where those files are immediately. So it's recording, it's downloading, it's caching, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, there's probably some other more technical term. I'm going to turn off live demo mode. <laughs> and uh, so all I have to do now is just go ahead and upload that to Anchor. I tell you, well, we are so lucky as content creators, ladies and gentlemen, we are so truly blessed. We are in such a unique place right now where all of these platforms are fighting for our attention. We are the product. Okay. So that's why we have so many options that are free. You know, Facebook came out with all these new things that they're going to release in the next few days where you can have messenger rooms with 50 people and, uh, all this kind of stuff. And you can watch Instagram lives from desktop. Now that's the other thing. I'm glad I said that because that's the other thing. Now you can watch Instagram lives from desktop. So this is another way to record your lives. Tim S with the $2 super chat. Thank you very much because here's something I need to tell you. Thank you from Tim S. Thank you, dear. <laughs> here's something that I need to tell you. If you ever go live on Instagram and when you go live on Instagram, you can invite someone in to chat with you, right? So let's just say you're doing an interview style. Well, on your phone, I always thought the look of it was kind of weird because, <laughs> yep, <laughs> because you're on the top, then that person's square is on the bottom because even though you're portrait mode, but with two squares, that's what equals the portrait, right? All of the comments will go past will be covering your guest's view. All right. So when people are watching it, but the bad part about doing it that way is that you do not get the option to download that video. This is important. This is really important. So I want to tell you that because if you're even thinking about using Instagram to do videos guys, or to do interviews, don't do it unless you have my ninja tips. I'll tell you the ninja tip in a minute, but, <laughs> but don't use Instagram live for videos that you, or interviews that you want to repurpose because you're not going to be able to download it. And there's a couple of reasons why, first of all, it would be tricky. And uh, Adam Museri, who is the head of Instagram now, he got asked this question on one of his Q and A's. And first of all, it's tricky for them because actually your video is being saved on your phone. And so your guests video would be on their phone, but they weren't live. So they're not even going to get that option. You were the one that's live. So first they would have to figure that logistics out of how to get that person's video over to your phone, right? See, we're thinking about the front end, like, Hey, well, I'm watching the video it should all be together, but it's not, it's two separate videos. And it's also a permissions thing. And you know, Facebook and them are always in trouble with permissions, you know? So not only the permissions of letting you download that person's content. It's also a tech issue of how are they going to get that content over to your phone? And when they do, believe me, the quality is not going to be great. And it's not great as it is. So here's your ninja tip. And I know the other day I had something about ninja tips and somebody said, no, ninjas are not supposed to be seen. I never said I was the ninja. I got this tip from a ninja and y'all don't know who that is because ninjas are never seen. Hello. <laughs> All right. 
So what you do, what you need to do is you need to be somewhere near your computer when you're, before you go live. And you just need to have your computer set up to record. And if you have something like Ecamm Live, or even if you have a, um, an app called Reflector, you can mirror that onto your computer. So if you're not on a Mac, you would use Reflector. You would mirror your phone onto your computer well, with Ecamm Live. All you have to do is plug it in. All you have to do is plug your iPhone in. And right now it's not working, so. I don't know why that was the case. Let's see what happens. I just plugged my phone in. Um, it's working. It's thinking about it. All right. So let's just say right now, let me uh, get rid of myself here. Let's just say I was live on Instagram, which of course I'm not. I'm live here with you guys on YouTube. But let's just say, oh, that's not a good sign. <laughs> I was live on Instagram and I had someone else. I would just, because, you know, Ecamm has record only mode. I would just go live. Hey, y'all, I'm live. <laughs> and, and record that way. That's how you do it on Ecamm. So that's my ninja tip for you. Okay. <laughs> So, you know, and if you have reflector, you can do it the same way. You just have to open up the reflector app on your computer and then it recognizes your phone and that's the way you do it on PC. It's been a while since I've done it on PC because I've, I've had this Mac for five years, but I used to use reflector prior to, you know, me having all the I, Apple world things. So you can do it. And, you know, the other way, if you don't have Ecamm and if you still, and if you have uh, an iPhone and, and a Mac, but you just don't have Ecamm, you just use QuickTime. Oh, the earth is turning again. <laughs> you just use QuickTime, plug your phone in and use QuickTime and record. So either way, you've got so many ways that we can take our knowledge, take the value that we offer to folks, right? And package them up into a live stream, a live stream show. Um, you could just be impromptu like yours truly and still build a nice portfolio of content. And, you know, because Anchor made this just one step easier, I can maybe think about actually repackaging some of my live streams. I always felt like, oh, I'm doing it the easy way. I, I just need to sit down and record a podcast. But because I live stream on Twitch and YouTube and then I've got Facebook stuff, I just haven't uh, done a podcast uh, for two months. But sometimes I go through spurts but I always want to be consistent here on YouTube. So now that you're going to repurpose, you've got the video and you're all ready to upload it to Anchor. Now, remember on Anchor, you have editing capabilities. So you can trim off something in the beginning when you were saying, hi, so-and-so, hey, all right, we're going to get started. But you know, like I do. <laughs> and you can trim off the end. But here's what I recommend. I'm not going to say you should. I'm not going to should you. I'm just going to say here's what I recommend. A couple tips that I wrote down. Record, because you can still record audio, right, on Anchor from desktop or mobile, right? Record a little introduction to the episode and let your listeners know where this content is coming from. Let them know what that venue is or give them background information on why you want to share that with them. Now, one thing you could also do is just have a dedicated podcast that is specifically for all of your live streams. 
So you don't have to tell them every time. Well, this was taken from when I was on Facebook Live. You, you could put that as part of this is what this podcast is. It's a podcast version just to give you audio access to content that I'm, you know, doing when I go live. All right. So you want to do that though, because no matter what guys, when you're doing a live stream and converting a live stream into your podcast, there's going to be some audio quality degradation. (laughs) The quality will be degrade, degraded. I don't know why I can't say that word right now. I need some Ecamm juice. No, that wasn't it. This is it. Yeah. (laughs) All right. The quality is not going to, it may not be really bad. It might not even really be noticeable. And you don't have to apologize. I'm not saying that. But, People may notice, oh, this quality is a little, I wonder why, why, is there quality like that? You know, let them know. I did this live stream the other day, guys, and that content was so good. I know you can benefit from this. And so this was my interview with Michael Daniels from Tinkering with Tech. You just let people know and then boom, just right to it. All right, so that's my recommendation for the intro. Now, throughout your recordings, if possible, and you can tell your guests or guests this ahead of time, always remember the podcast listener. So like today's video, I would not be able to really repurpose, maybe sections of it. But I did a ton of screen sharing. So it's, you know, now if I would have done like 20 minutes of just talking head and then maybe two minutes of screen sharing, then I would just make sure I let all my listeners know, here's that link where you can see the video. And I really want you to go see the video because it's really important that you see how to download, how to hit the three dots or whatever the case may be, or it could be something really spectacular, not just me screen sharing something on uh, Anchor. All right. (laughs) It could be, you know, some beautiful work of art or sculpture or, you know, a mural that you want everyone to see even though you are on a podcast, you would just let them know, you know, stress to them that it's really important, this visual content for you to consume it. So, but you know, when you're talking, when you're on a podcast, know that because people are multitasking and all that, most of them aren't going to do it, but it's nice to have that. It gives them that sense of like closure. Like there's this open loop where everybody's looking at this beautiful painting and you never say, I put a link in the show notes or go over to Eileen.link slash leap into live to sign up for the free <laughs> boot camp. <laughs> if you never say the link, then that leaves that open loop, but you want to close the loop and like tying things up with a nice little bow. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. I know y'all do because y'all gave me super chats up in here tonight. <laughs> okay, so yes, remind your guests too because they may want to uh, talk about things. They may have something in their hand. They're holding it up because they know everybody's on video. But then, you know, just say, oh, could you please describe that object for our audio, our podcast listeners, just try to remember to, to include that so that the podcast listeners don't feel that they're left out. You don't, you, you, you it's okay. People will understand that you're repurposing content. Cause like a lot of folks do it. 
And there's going to be always a portion of your audience that's just going to be annoyed. They just don't want that. They are spoiled and they just want the podcast to be the number one thing you do. And that's understandable because I actually have some podcasts that I'm like that. I don't want your repurposed stuff. I want you, I'm watching, I'm listening to the podcast now (laughs) because I consume a ton of content. So I'm already consuming things on video all the time. Certain people just like podcasts. They don't, I, I heard someone the other day on, um, a live stream. They were on a live stream, ironically saying how they don't watch video. I'm not going to say the person's name cause I'm not trying to, you know, make fun of anybody, but I know this guy and I've known him for a long time. And he's always said this, he likes written content and I used to be the same way. But I'm not like that anymore. I I like video and audio more than I do. Like even when I put out my book recommendation list. Yes, all those books. I read them in Audible. Yeah, somebody read them to me. Because <laughs> I start reading. And I'll be reading. And then my eyes will start to get heavy. And the next thing I know, Mr. Rodney's saying, hey. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, I was reading. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, guys, we're so lucky. We are so lucky to have all of these content platforms at our disposal that we can get our message out there. You know, I always call you beautiful people, Right. And it doesn't matter to me if you're a man, you may think, why does she call me beautiful? Because you are beautiful. doesn't matter if you're a woman, you're non-binary. You've got beauty inside of you. You've got a message. You have something that's valuable that can help people. All right. So that makes you beautiful. And I just want to play a small, small role. I don't even want to have to take any credit for it. I like your thank yous and I do love your super chats. (laughs) But I want to play a small role in helping you if I shared a tip or uh, I really showed you something that you're like, oh my God, I didn't know that's how you did it. That's amazing. That could not just change your life. It could change the lives of all the people that you come in contact with. And this is what I want for you. I want you to be able to spread that kind of beauty. You know, my friend Heather Crafter, uh, we're friends on a couple different venues, but on Twitch as well. And she does such beautiful painting and crafting. And I used to do that kind of stuff, but I wasn't all that good at it. Heather is amazing, (laughs) you know, and uh, so many people that just have all this knowledge and this expertise and, you know, they're helping people through all of, you know, what everybody is going through right now. And I'm hearing from all kinds of uh, brilliant minds uh, and even small children who are finding a way to get through all of this and keeping a smile on our faces and, and, and keeping us all uh, encouraged and inspired. And I want you to share, share that beauty that you have inside of you with the world because what the world needs now is more beauty Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? So what I like to do now, and as always, I always like to sign off by saying one thing I want you to do, stay beautiful.